Okay, I have never played this game before. Uh, I don't know anything about it. I like the title and this opening. Cool. See more of these minimalist games. So we'll be playing this for two hours and 15 minutes-ish. And then we'll be switching to Slay the Spire for five hours. Music's sweet. Is it recommended to play this with a mouse and keyboard or a controller? I'm on a controller right now. Oh, cool. Nice. Controller, definitely. Okay. This is sweet. Kind of reminds me of Res, right? Where the different level elements are also musical elements. Oh, this is great so far. Oh, I like the bass line. That's dope. <laughs> This game is sweet so far. I love the fade in out on the baseline too. It is chaos, nice. The 24 hour stream. Well, if we don't beat it, it'll be part of the 24 hour stream, then we could finish it. Actually, if anyone wants to do that, because chaos's indie stream is coming up. Oh, I can warp. This is teaching me that I can warp. So I have to learn it on that level. Clever game. If you wanted to add it in beforehand, then increase the chance that I'll play it during that stream to actually beat it. It's in a short, like, less than 10 hour range. <laughs> this is cool. Nice. Look at the boss area here. This game can do some really cool developer player handshakes, like that last sequence was very neat. <laughs> right. Yeah, LSDJ, I could hear a combination of it. Sweet. That's awesome. This game's really cool. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, Yahan. Go for it. Introducing new... Oh, okay. So this is a level select. That's pretty sweet. Oh yeah, Danimal Cannon! I actually saw a uh, panel by Danimal Cannon at PAX several years ago. That's what got me to show Jaden the uh, Pixie Tracker software back when he was like 10 years old. He does LSDJ. That's awesome. He's LSDJ. Mostly. And he does some fake bit stuff too. So that's the LSDJ is the original Game Boy sound font. Checkpoint reached, okay. These are bass lines. This is definitely up there in one of my favorite... Oh shit, okay. Now I know how that works, at least. Music dodging games. Beat Hazard was really cool, because it had an algorithm that could turn any song you uploaded into a level. But I like that this is authored. Talk to Jaden and see if he wants to submit some of his music for DLC for this game. 
You have to level it up a little bit, but we'll see. I'm not uh, I'm not a complete noob when it comes to bullet hell, but I'm also not amazing at it. I like that dash move, let's go. Cool. Oh, there's like, this is story mode. <laughs> Boss fight time. Nice. Just Undertale fights, right? that first level forced me to learn there was an A button. I didn't need to use it up to that point. This feels stylistically different with just the fixed background squares. I dig it. What a cool new shapes they can add, it looks like. Yeah, good choice uh, prop. This game's way up my alley. How many platforms is this on right now? Feels really polished with all the peripheral effects letting you know that an attack is coming. So far, nothing has happened with no telegraphing. This will be a game where I'm gonna have to look at chat in between levels, so I apologize. <laughs> this part's pretty sweet. Nice. Glad I didn't hide in the inside parts of those circles. Easy to timestamp, <laughs> right? Because the levels are so different from each other. Oh, I think I see what that means. Teaching me. More Danimal Cannon. Man, good for him. I don't think he's ever actually been in a video game before. He just does ch uh, chiptunes and fake bit. This reminds me of Super Hexagon, this theme. But that's also LSDJ. Oh, okay. Now I know how that works. I like the health system in this. Convey everything. The only thing that's conveyed with the UI element is the checkpoint meter at the top. And even that's not very disruptive. At least make sure that Jaden plays this. Get it for him for his birthday. He turned 15 a couple weeks ago. Womp womp. Okay, I see.
Sweet. Yeah, I've got pretty good bass in my headphones. For sure. I understand. Thanks, game. Look at that. Pretty good conveyance. Yeah, I wonder how uh, married they are to LSG TJ sound fonts from the original Game Boy. I love how these levels all feel so different from each other. It's not just the same, okay, a bar means a baseline element. They have some common elements, but so far each level has introduced something new. I'm gonna drop the bass. <laughs> nice. Okay, I understand now. <laughs> awesome. Attack is really cool. Oh shit, that was a weak attack to get hit by. I love those phase changes. <laughs> okay. We're gonna get a little more health in this level though, so. Down to one health bar. This might be a good game for the health, the heart rate monitor as well. <laughs> oh, that's delightful. I love it. It's over! Start working at putting the heart rate monitor back on in between levels. Just left it on. The worst part is connecting it at the beginning and then staying completely still. How did you know I would like this prop? <laughs> That's cute. That's the op that's the intro. Awesome. Oh, it's a story mode. Aww. This game just feels really polished. Because it's a lot easier to get do polish when you go for this level of minimal minimalism. It's great. Mostly damn well, Cannon. Really? I thought you might just be featured for a couple songs. That's cool. 
Was that first sequence the, uh... <laughs> Was that first sequence like a Kickstarter demo preview or something? <laughs> I like little squares saving me to the left there. Nice. All oh, these were levels the whole time. That's cool. Okay, other... Gotcha. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, Chipsel! Chipsel's the guy that did, uh... Super Hexagon, right? That's really cool. That whole sequence is awesome. Then you think, what? That's really the end? The three hours must be like challenge mode or something? <laughs> cool. This game is gorgeous. Awesome. Yeah, that's pretty good. This, where all the artists, which are, you passed by, I was like, really? Just Animal Cannon? Huh, I guess they just had boss fight as a guest artist. That's yeah, pretty great. Especially with the way the game was built up up to that point. And the how long to beat didn't give it away. Okay, so it's not just LSDJ sounds. This is fake bit, I think. It's definitely fake bit. Bringing back some old attacks, that's cool. Digging the thing in there. Oh, by the way, uh, I've been having some issues with the stream title updating correctly. Does it show the right game or does it still say Iconoclast for you guys? Ever since they added tags, it's harder to swap midstream. Okay, I understand what's happening now. Okay, thanks. Oh, you see Iconoclast? Eating all these Doritos. <laughs> that was brilliant. Because the artist happened to sample the warp pipe sound, they fit it into the level. That was awesome. <laughs> Delightful. I'm gonna die here. That's awesome. Oh, jeez. Okay. It makes that quite a bit harder, huh? Fresh, do you see the right title? Six gun. Thanks for checking, it's been super janky. Looks like it's right if I refresh. Thanks, Lit Effects. See. 
Cool, thanks for checking. Chipsel! It is story mode. I like it. That was a great trick at the beginning of the game. It still is just shapes and beats, but there's a little bit more to it. It's a cool name for the game, too. Sounds like the working title. Like, the untitled Goose game is probably going to stick as the title for that. Jaw hurts? It's probably because you kept your had to have your mouth wide open all that time. I really hate when they put that block in your mouth. It's so uncomfortable. It's true. I mean, I guess you could argue that Undertale is also just shapes and beats. Chiller song here. It's like a water level almost. Wanna join in for this for a bit? Headphones turned on there. Sorry, it's a mess over here today. Is a horror game? What's that? Is a horror game? No. No, my heart rate gets way higher in games like this. Hey, Kat, this is a... It's called Just Shapes and Beats, and you'll see what it is real quick. Did you have to move through that before it fully formed? What's that? You had to move through that before it fully formed? Uh, when I use the dash move, I take no damage, oh, but okay. at the end of it, I take damage. So in the middle of it, I can move safely. Yo, yo, Chaos Factor, how you going? This game's really cool. It just started about 20 minutes ago. It's a really sweet step at the beginning. How was work? It was good. That is the, that's the normal. <laughs> the normal is good, like, good exclamation point. Mm -hmm. I was a little exhausted, but it was good, but it doesn't sound like it from my voice, but it was good. No, I hear you. I love that they build this into the level select. This is cool. It's really simple, and there's no penalty for failing, but... Oh, so you're selecting a level right now. Yeah, this is the level select screen. They did this cool thing where they kind of tricked you into thinking the game was really short. Uh, it totally wasn't. Mm. Like, I, I started story mode, and it was just a normal level select. It was just just a square and a line, and I'm like, story mode, huh? That's interesting. And there actually is kind of a story after that sequence. Mm. They did some really cool stuff. Like, the last song I did, the uh, chiptune artist sampled... Um, the warp pipe sound from Mario 1 and the power-up song. So when that happened, a little warp pipe appeared in the game and like an enemy popped out of it. It was really neat, so little stuff like that. Even though it's called Just Shapes and Beats, they're doing a lot of neat stuff with it, and every level seems to have a unique mechanic. There was one where the baseline was represented by just some red lines that would appear. I love this genre, bullet hell. Uh, you said you wanted to play Undertale, right? I did. Undertale I did. is basically a, a bullet hell JRPG. Okay, well I'll play as much of Undertale as I can. <laughs> but uh, bullet hell is not really my genre. I respect it though. I wouldn't stress too much about it. Andrea was able to play Undertale. Yeah. Should give you some context. Low, uh, low stress. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's bullet hell, but you can do threshold. it. I was in hell yesterday playing Mario Party. <laughs> I crossed over into a section of it that was hell. How is Super Mario Party so it's far? Good. We played it a bit. I thought it was better than any it's Mario good. Party I game actually, I've played. It's in. probably my second favorite Mario Party. After three? And that's saying a lot to me. At, yeah. Right after three. I'd say three, Super Mario Party, then two. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Time. 
I like how streamlined it is, finally. It's been getting a lot of gripe for being simple, but... Uh, no, it just it needs to be simple. Yeah, it needs to be simple. And there's a there's a game mode that oh, you stumbled on that I think you like. Mm -hmm. Not to talk over the current game. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Undertale is bullet heck. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> yeah. It's like inspired it's by bullet, bullet hell. It's not... Yeah. Right. There's a mode you can play that is actually bullet hell, but you have to you have to basically turn it on. You have to know what you're doing to get into that mode. Mm. It's not going to happen. Oh, I've heard accident. about that. Yeah, you have to make certain decisions. With Jade decisions. Beat, yeah. But I like bullet heck. I'm trying to hear that music. We're saying we should get Jaden to contact this developer and mix some music. I could see this being like. Well, the kind of music Jaden makes where it's not very competitive, he'd have to make boss fights. Oh, for sure. For this kind of game. He'd have to yeah. make boss fights. It's over. All right, we'll try it again. They have to be like chaos all over the screen because mm. nothing's going to necessarily repeat at any point. <laughs> I like hit the master <laughs> button to say no for it to not be over. Cool. It's That's awesome. Not. I had to mash the button to get back to life. Let's see. I heard Mega Man 11 is good. This is the kind of game that I could. This is his genre of music, though. Uh, chip tunes and fake bit. Mm -hmm. Like the first level, the music was by Danimal Cannon, and that was that guy that I was telling you guys about. The first panel I went to on Video Game Music Packs that made me come home and get Pixie Tracker for Jaden. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty pumped that Danimal Cannon actually has a video game now. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Initial playlist is closed up. If you want to submit something for future content, feel free to get to us. Cool. Let's make memories. Yeah, I'll talk to him about it. I, I want to get him this for his birthday, belated. I think he would like this. I can maybe hook What's him up the other one that he plays that's very similar to this? Uh, oh, I know the one you're talking about. You tap on the screen and it's chaos and it makes me sick watching. <laughs> not sick and scrolls, busy, but It scrolls like from left to right and you have to move up and down to avoid stuff. Oh, not right? that one. It's the uh, where the something in the screen is... He plays Osu? And he just... It's, Kind of I didn't know Jaden played Osu. Pieces. Is that what that's called? I think called? that's what it's called. With circles? It'll like Paul say, and then he's like, gotta make it inside the box. As oh, the are you player. talking about Super Hexagon? That Super Hexagon. It. Okay, yeah, yeah. This is similar. This song's actually by the same guy that did the Super Hexagon uh, soundtrack. Yeah. I wonder it. if he already knows about this. I wonder. He might. It came out fairly recently, right? No, this maybe year. It doesn't. It may have been like May of this year. He's been super focused in on uh, Smash Brothers news and anything nice. related. I get through this part, man. I was undefeated until you showed up. It's my fault. <laughs> no job. It's distracting. I would totally be distracted. <laughs> That's fine. Well, it's, it's yeah, no John, it, but unless you seriously have it. a John here. Yeah, I would totally mean it, though. I was doing better until I started talking. <laughs> ah. Last life. Try it again. Yeah, but I'll see if I can... I guess ask Jay if he's heard of this. It's just called Just Shapes and Beats. And if he says no, let me know. I think this is up his alley. I know he likes Super Hexagon a lot. Super Hexagon makes you sick. <laughs> Shit. Things are going so well. Checkpoint doesn't matter because I'm... Only have one life left. Yeah. <laughs> I can't handle this. Oh, and I can press the start button to advance through that faster. That's nice. I'm going to come back to that level. There's a cool boss fight earlier. There have actually been a couple chill songs in this game so far. This is quite a bit more chill, for example. Oh, 
while they're drawing in the balls from off the screen, I say. So this genre is all about not ever looking at your square. <laughs> Whenever you take damage, you never look at that. You just kind of remember where it is, and you look at everything else that's in its immediate vicinity. And you kind of just rely on peripheral vision to be able to succeed. Do you do this thing? Yeah, that's just what I was about to describe. Like, where your eyes kind of go out of focus a little if bit? If I focus, I die. Yeah. If I look at the blue square, I will you die. out of focus a little bit uh -huh. so you can see more a little bit. You don't need to see anything exactly. Exactly. Yeah, you got it. I do that on a mini game, a Mario Party, where mm -hmm. I like moving the, uh, the Russian dolls around. I just go out of focus. <laughs> and I got to highlight the one in my mind. Moves. The the one mini game we played at PAX in Super Mario Party, the one with all of the football players mm -hmm. on the grid. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good. bullet hell game. That's why I was able to win it. I maxed out the time on it. I like that there are games in that Mario Party that I just am not good at. Yeah, it's just cool. play to my And strength. some other people might be good at yeah, it. Yeah, right? Donovan is good at them. Yeah, I like that. I'm still having fun at it, but I just know this is not my bag. Yeah, I gotta zone out and rock band as well. I have to like look at the top of the track and then just kind of absorb the the next like eight notes. I can't if Ooh, I look yeah, at the next note, I can't win. For that, yeah. Especially when it gets tough. Yeah, that's perfect. Did you start queuing? That one much better. Hi, Kaima. Hey, hey. How are you? I was speaking gently. I think Cameron can hear me, though. I know she twitches a little bit every time <laughs> yeah, she hears me, I'm trying to make sure. She's got like a body clock. It's pretty precise. Yeah, that's absolutely true, Brava Gable. And I think that that's part of what makes Bullet Hells fun to stream, because you guys get to see... And that, it's just the same problem with Rock Band, right? Like, if you're playing Rock Band, you can't watch any of the cool animations mm -hmm. in the background. Like, everybody was saying that the Beatles Rock Band was amazing because of those cool animations. Like, like for the three what people in the room that aren't playing the game that are watching you play it. What <laughs> All I see is notes. Yeah. There's a lot of dope indie games that kind of suffer from that too, right? Mm -hmm. Like they do all this work on this really cool art style. Yeah. But if you look at any of it, you're, you're, you're gonna die. Yeah. That's for everybody watching you play. Mm-hmm. You like can't ever season. appreciate the map on Super Meat Boy. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. You're just looking at what's gonna kill me. Mm -hmm. I love that these little snake things are low frame rate. They look like they're low frame rate. It's a cool looking effect. With all the little bullets are at 60 FPS, right? Very smooth. Whoa. Why do you play this? <laughs> I love this. This makes me so happy. Oh. When you came in and you saw the hurry monitor, you're like, ooh, is this a horror game? <laughs> like, I was like, I'm so glad it's not, but I should have been like, oh, I'm sorry. It's mm -hmm. not. <laughs> I'm sorry to let you down. Mm -hmm. This game is my genre. No, I said to Prop when I started playing, like, Prop Gable, how did you know I would like this game? And he just mm. linked how many hours he's watched the stream. Right. Yeah, this is right, right in the back. It's minimalist, does good conveyance. Yep, great conveyance, great music, high replay value. Oh. I like how all of the attacks are pretty well telegraphed, right? Like you get a about a second to adjust. Even here, I can predict what's going to happen after the first round. Mm -hmm. Headphones are about to fall off. i got to make it to the end of this level before I can adjust them. Thank you. Save the day. Friendship. You catch a shiny Nidor uh, Nidoran in the day? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> no, I haven't caught anything I cared about in two weeks. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. I'm catching a lot of stuff, though, so it still yeah, feels good. Right, right, right. This is helping me enjoy Yeah, that. the gotcha is really yeah. nice. You can just kind of walk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Still being rewarded still. I'm still to... being rewarded for having the app. That's yeah, right. a lot of app games I don't right. own anymore because I was, was not being rewarded for still having it. Mm -hmm. Appreciate your job is now to appreciate the aesthetic on behalf of me. Mm -hmm. I can't. I got you, like, Chad. Oh, I'll hold you down. That's a cool lotus flower pattern that you can't talk mm -hmm. about. <laughs> did you see it dispels your name? You didn't see it, did you? <laughs> it knew. All right. So the other two levels I did fine while talking. 
Oh, you're just back? Just something about oh. this level. I want to be quiet now. Okay, it's so I want to see how much better you can. Make, you can make facial expressions? Yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's try it. This is the part that always kills me. Probably a better part of the screen to hide in. It's right on here. Shit. This is the music. Need to make it to that checkpoint while I've got the hit points. I'm not making it. This part just isn't gelling with me right now. I think what's happening is this is breaking my out of focus trick because I'm paying really close attention to those spiked pillars. Mm -hmm. like, and I'm not paying attention to the little bullets that are everywhere. There's very little repetition in this one too. Yeah. Compared to the other ones. Right, right, right. I'll probably just be dashing more whenever I see those instead of trying to fit between them. Because I'm so close to the edge of the screen here. I get to the checkpoint, I've got one life left. I don't have to do that section again. I gotta double back because I'm not as fast as the bullets. <laughs> That's stressful to do. I can't believe I want to play this game with the analog stick instead of the D-pad, but I totally do. Ooh, it might just be because how smooth the controls are. Do it with bullets too. Can't see some of the bullets. I know that they're there, but they're behind the spikes. Okay. <laughs> you had like 17 close calls in that second and third section. Like, like 17. You would dash and you would hurry up and dash again, and it was like a bullet on your ass. Oh, that was so close. Always be dashing. You know, the ABDs. Sweet. This is like flogging Molly chiptunes. We're on the high seas. Nice. I love that they make you work for this. This is kind of cool. Even though you're just moving to the next stage. Oh, I see what I have to do now. Sorry, I'm a dumbass. Dropkick Murphys, yeah. This song is awesome. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get this for Jaden, man. If you do me the favor of asking him, just, hey, have you heard of this? Right, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I have to jump as they're coming at me. Is yeah. it called Just Shapes and Sounds? Just Shapes and Beats. Just Shapes and Beats. Let me do that before I forget. This is the boss from earlier. <laughs> I love the little face on the ship, too. Thanks, ship bro. Hey, Johan. 
Hey, hey! Barracuda. Well, this has a cool, like, uh, Egyptian feel to it. So there's this, let's see if I can talk about it without dying. There's this concept uh, in StarCraft called APM or actions per minute. The idea is that you wanna be clicking the mouse constantly and moving the mouse constantly because it makes you ready to react if you need to react. Yeah, no, I think it's true in this, you'll see me do this a lot. It's because like I need to be already moving in order right, to dodge It's not stuff. because you're like an angsty teen. That right, exactly. It's because you're a, if you I'm already mid movement, I can easy. adapt to it. No, I get it. You don't want to come in cold at any movement. And it's not always right to do that in every game like this, but. Well, it's right to do in Call of Duty while the load's running down. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I'm dead. It's okay. You can get extra hit points for boss fights, though, so that's cool. Um, I don't want to break the stream rules or nothing, but did you get Donut County on your list yet? Uh, it's, we're actually going to play it for the 24-hour stream in November. Okay. Uh, the Chaos Factor won the 24-hour stream theme. And, oh, uh... It's indie games, right? All indie games, so that's going to be one of them. Yeah, I really, if, if you're able to tune in for part of that, obviously not all of it, but... I'm going to try to do it over a weekend. Yeah, I bought so it. If you, Donovan, Jaden, want to pop in just for a little bit. Snakes, it had to be snakes. Yeah, I picked it up. How is it? Oh, how is it? <laughs> is it good? Do you like it? You don't like it? It's a toy. It's not a game. That's sad. It's only a game for like two moments of the entire Oh, game. that's so sad. the game sad. is like a two-hour sitting. That's, well, it's not the only game we're playing for the 24 stream. We're playing yeah, a bunch thing, of indie games. Good thing it's within a large mass. Yeah, it'll be a, you can let's show play this for an hour and be like, oh, it's this is a cool toy. toy. Okay, that's all right. It's a game it's like okay. twice. That's fine. In two moments. Because, like, Katamari is a game. Yep. <laughs> Katamari has objectives. It's not just a toy. I, I appreciate what they made. I like the uh, lighting in here. I appreciate what they made, sort of. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Would it be something Cameron might enjoy when she gets a little bit older? Yes. Oh, then perfect. Actually, that was probably in a couple of months. That was the <laughs> for real. I'm not trying to be mean. No, no, no. That was that was the context in which Jerry brought it up. Okay. That he plays it with his very very young kids. So there you go. That's perfect. It's, 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 it's cool. <laughs> so I want to play that goose game. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know if that's gonna be a toy. It looks like it. No, that looks like a game. That looks like a game. I don't want to mess nothing up. No, but that's good. good. That's perfect. Well, that's, that's, that's the perfect focus yeah, that's for it would be time. we're going to play it for like an hour and be like, okay, that was Donut County. Okay, he says, uh, I asked him if he's heard of the game. Yeah. And he said, yep, uh, according to people, it's actually really fun. We've seen some play for it. We've seen some really good. Okay. So it's totally, I mean, you can yeah. tell it's right up his alley. Yep, yep, he yep. He hasn't played it yet, but he knows how it's. amount of bass. Listener's discretion is advised. <laughs> There's a lot of different styles in this. Like, none of the other ones have had live sample speech before. I like the theme on this level of, like, shooting into the water and it's splashing the bullets up. They feel really different. You get worried at the beginning, like, okay, every level is just going to be the exact same mm -hmm. premise. I like playing different physics. So yeah. I was, like sitting my whole weekend in Cyberpunk. I'm so sorry. Did you end up playing Mario Party instead? No, nah, the Mario Party didn't come out for another couple of weeks, so. The level is just shapes and beats. It's just. I'm so sorry. <sighs> I've been disappointed by toys a lot of times. I think uh, one of the, the biggest last, one. The most recent one was the DJ game. Yeah, right? the Drop Mix, mm -hmm. the Harmonix board game. It's like, oh, they did a. Now the whole. The... The, the trick is to disguise it from people knowing it's a toy. Yeah. 
That's where all the art comes from. I mean, How can we trick people into thinking this is a game? It, it was a really cool toy, to be fair, but it was a toy. It yeah, wasn't a I game. need to know that going in yeah. so I can know. Uh, Betrayal at the House on the Hill is a toy. It's not an, actually a game. It's a fun toy. It's a cool toy that I can understand why anybody want to take it over someone's oh, house. Shit. I get it. Yeah, it's a take it over to someone's house game. I would totally take it over. Like it's one of those. Like I think it's like this. You say, "Hey, have you ever played Betrayal at House and Hill?" No. Oh, then I'm gonna bring it. If you say yes, okay, we're not gonna play. (laughs) And I wouldn't either. Yeah. I would not. (laughs) That is for people that haven't played it. But I think like it should be in the hands of people like you that know how to gently present it to people. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't. you, You shouldn't present it to people with the intent to win. (laughs) <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. You need it's, to be in that box. Yeah. Exactly. It's it's the same with. Um, I think introducing people to a board game is an art, mm-hmm. and it's like there are some people who are really good at board games and are really smart about game design and just do not know how to share games with other people. Like they can actively make you uninterested in a game that you might really enjoy otherwise, mm-hmm. right? Um, like the folks who introduced us to Mysterium. It, we had to be playing Mysterium for an entire game for like a couple hours for me to actually understand what was happening. Right. Yeah. right? And now when I've d- I'd introduced people, I said, it, guys, it's like charades, but clue. So like, it's charades. Yeah. So the fun part of the game is that you are presenting something and the other players are annoyed that, that you're giving them bad information. And that's what's fun about it, is that annoyance. You and they're like, get, oh, okay, I get it. You gotta get into the sense. fact that you're annoyed with somebody trying to figure out. <laughs> that's where the game is. So yeah. Focus in on that. And that's correct, though. Uh-huh. Correct. That's the right way to put it in this You don't Whoa. want them getting frustrated that they don't know the answer. I love this level design element. They didn't have to do this. They could have just made it just a single line, course, but yeah. you know, having a little dark cave and then turning on the glowing mushroom. I'm so glad indie games are a thing. Man. I know, right? And that there's like such a pocket for it too. Right, it's a huge market. Mm-hmm. You don't need to be a AAA developer. And I also like that it's not killing AAA, but like they can no. exist. Yep, they have their own space. Exist. They have their own space. Uh, AAAs can be fans of Indy mm-hmm. and vice versa, and it's, it's great. <clears throat> that was my problem. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> I just trying to figure out what it actually wants me to do. Oh, I think I understand. I think I can. Let's see. Trick, wait, oh, nope, it's not what I thought it was. <laughs> I thought I had like, to go back go, to the right one. I thought you had to go, like, jump as it was going up to uh, take To get some extra down. momentum or something. This game's delightful. Are you going late again tonight? Yes. Okay. Yeah, this um, will be my last night. I'm going to take a break this weekend. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow I'm going to clean all day. So and you're back Sunday? So late tomorrow night at like 10 o'clock. If you get a chance to drop off the vacuum, I'd appreciate it. I was going to say, I probably need to do it tonight then because we're okay. out of purple. Okay, very good. Competition. Oh, yeah. For marching band? Yes. Nice. He's got another football game this upcoming Friday, right? I believe that's the last one. That's what I uh, oh, okay. the were saying. Because they only do ten. That would make sense. Because we've been to three. We missed one. And only half of them are in Los Alamos. Mm-hmm. They're kind of bad. <laughs> <laughs> Our football team's kind of kind of not great. We got one player. We have a player. Shit. I like the glowing pink thing at the bottom that tells you where that shit's gonna come from. That's the kind of thing that if you were looking at your square, you probably wouldn't even nope. be able to see it. Yeah. I feel like the football games are mostly a marching band show off hey, there's the cool Mario jump noise oh shit well that was not expecting that to happen that was my bad couple games are a vehicle for Andrea to get nachos and hot dogs for like five dollars <laughs> she could do that at home well the taste of the hot dog a lot of times depends on the atmosphere you're eating it uh I thought some taste is good, like just in the room. You know. <laughs> right. <laughs> if you just make hot dogs, if you boil them or something. Good. Yeah. Uh, better when you're looking at something. I think it's like you're distracting your eye from the <laughs> Yeah, looking at the hot dog. Uh, 
I thought I died last time because the level didn't uh, convey what killed me, but I wasn't paying attention because the sides of that little square turned pink right before it launches mm. them. Just like we learned earlier in the level, it taught me, and I failed. Not a good learner, man. No. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really learn. Hey, man. Really into understanding things. Understanding is for chumps. Mm -hmm. Cool. Hey, man. Is it harassment time? It's not harassment No, time. man, Ben, you're not supposed to be harassing me for another hour. Showing off the... Oh, cool. This game's got a lot of levels, I'm really impressed. Trip 40. It's a cool effect. I like how some of these stages have parts that aren't hard to dodge, just gonna get you used to the song and BPM. Some mechanics that they're gonna develop on later on. And then let the music designer get off too. Yeah. That's, I think, one of my favorite parts of it, that they've clearly taken submitted music and then made levels to it. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when we used to play Beat Hazard? I think I brought it over to y'all's place. Sure. Uh, it was like a spaceship. And you could upload any song you wanted to it, and then the level would change based on that. So it was a really cool game, but it was an algorithm, so it wasn't authored by like a human being going through. You would never get that cool warp pipe thing I was telling you about. Generated content can be fun, and it has its place in certain kinds of games, but I think authored will always win out. Part of the reason robots can't blow. <laughs> they can't make pipes. Mechanics. Mechanics. Nice. That's cool. I keep thinking I can only press the dodge with the beat, but I think I. No, it's pretty low cooldown. That triplet back there, that was cool. Oof. That was... I was close to being done. That wasn't done. too cool. That was the game. Used to Necrodancer, yeah. Have you ever seen Crypt of the Necrodancer? I'll show you that game sometime. Jay might make that too. Uh, it's a game where you... You can move up, down, left, and right, but you have to move with the beat. If you press the button off beat, you don't move the character. Mm. Um... And that's the basic gist of it, but there's all kinds of cool little bits of uh, design space around that. Like, there are debuffs that make you have to skip a beat. Um, there are enemies that move on every third beat, that sort of thing. It's a cool game. I think I get it. Poor spiny guy! Right, and they just established that the mushrooms get corrupted when they touch the lava. Cool. <laughs> now this is still a level select, but it's kind of a stage. I dig it. I see. You died on the menu? I, I died on the menu. <laughs> 100%. Ah. I understand now. The arc makes it tricky, too. I like that they use the design space of the level select menu, because now I can't move all the way around the map. I can only move between these six spaces, right? Oh, shit! Which is interesting. 
Undertale does this too. It'll have some levels where your movement was previously unrestricted and now it's restricted. If you want to stream that, man, let me know if you've got a free weekend sometime. That would be fun. Yeah. People will watch it too. People are super into no, blind no, Undertale blind players. Undertale like there, Not left, like no. Too high. Super low in these streets. Everyone's already cashed it in. That would probably be... I mean, you could beat it over multiple sessions. I don't know. What, what's your gaming stamina like, really? It just depends on the game, man. Sometimes yeah. I can go for a while. Sometimes I can't. If I get yeah. stressed, that's usually like... When you... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, maybe we could try to schedule it for like two hours or something. Mm -hmm. And then... If we, if you're not feeling too bad... Well, also, I was uh, going to find out what uh, Andrew's fatigue was going to be like, which I'm assuming high, mm -hmm. uh, and determine whether or not to do breakfast Sunday. But I'm just, I'm like 80% sure. She's She's like way too tired for tomorrow, yeah. I'll probably uh, look forward to next weekend and next so maybe we can with that. Okay, that works. That's cool. Hi, Ben. How are you? You gonna be nice? Oh, I wish I could dodge with the uh, left trigger. Can I set? Can I change the controls in this game? Because then I can play it left-handed while Jaden's here. That was casual. All right, we'll try to win without dodging. Bends here. If you die, can you say that was the cat's fault? Like, <laughs> well, I don't have to be petting him. Well, <laughs> He's so cute. And he's... That's where a dash would be really nice. What's up, dog? He's purring pretty hard. What's up, dog? What's up, dog? As long as he doesn't move in front of the screen right now. <laughs> you good for only having dash for the last couple seconds. If you choose to unlock an achievement. Benedict Timothy Kittleton Gumpercat. Doing anything else in Albuquerque other than running this thing? I don't know. I doubt it. We'll probably come back before he's done. They, he has to get on the bus from the school at 6 a.m. to head over. I mean, they're not going to be done until at least nine. Marching band doesn't fuck around, man. No, they're serious. So we're probably going to go watch him do one part of the competition and start trying to come back because we're not fooling around. He's taking the bus with the band there and back. It'll be good for him, though. It's good like, bonding time with the band. Which he seems to enjoy anyway. So. This sequence is fucking cool. This is so rad. It's removing the corruption. There's that rainbow burst. That was really neat. Oh, poor guy. Did you kill him? He's my friend. He was helping me out earlier. I saved the day. Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Power rhythm. Oh man, that's some. Was it this Mortal is, Kombat? Mortal, I was just gonna say yeah. it's Mortal Kombat tower. <laughs> Why did they have that tower? That was not necessary. <laughs> that was pretty dope. That whole sequence is pretty great. This game is very stylish. It's just super polished too.
should look into see if there's any mods to add a dash to the left trigger. I like games where you can play, like Earthbound, you can play uh, one-handed. If you use the L button on the Super Nintendo and the select button, that was confirm and cancel. And it's just an RPG, so... No hit run of story mode is 1.5 hours. Okay. It's not possible to beat this game without dodging, right? Because there's a couple mechanics that require a dodge. I don't know, they might only just be in that opening level. I didn't know there was a dodge in this game until there was a mechanic that I couldn't avoid, and I was like, I'll just try pressing buttons. They we're just doing this in Iconoclasts. Saw blades, it's cool. It's one when they have a challenge mode or like an achievement for beating levels without using your dash. Better than possible for a lot of it. I showed you. How dare I? <laughs> Careful dashing now. That's another big thing in um, these kinds of games, just knowing that you can fit into a teeny little place, and it's okay. As long as there's nothing red there, you'll be fine. I'm gonna be closer to the center so I have room to dodge. Oh, well, I want. Never mind, did not win. I misread the level indicator. I like them interpreting that as a saw blade, that's clever. That sound effect. I wonder if the entire level design came out of this one section. The level designer just thinking, that's kind of sounds like a saw blade. I think I want to be at the top, but I, have to, I can't warp through him. Woof, woof. 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 You know, you playing games like this just encourage development. <laughs> you gotta ignore these games. <laughs> I wanna see games like this forever. <laughs> You're my friendo! <laughs> this theme reminds me of uh, Final Fantasy VI and Super Mario RPG, the machine songs. Amy's really tired today. I think this is the longest we've gone without her getting up. Yeah. Crying helicopter. Lunar whale. Alright. Later, man. Right. Sleep well. Yeah. Later, chat. Enjoy. Thanks for popping in. Enjoy your health. <laughs> Bullet head. I'll be back later on the day with stuff. Okay, cool. I'm going to be streaming until like 10 o'clock, so. Yeah. I can have stereo sound, which that's why I was dying earlier because of lack of stereo. <laughs> Not used to this controller. As I mentioned, lack of stereo, I immediately take damage. 
It's a cool attack. I just think about all the cool, unique uh, things they can add to this. Kind of makes me sad for the bullet hell genre in general that so much of it is like these really reductive, lots of little dots everywhere. And there's so much more you can do with it. Design space exploration. I don't need to take bullet hell literally and have it just be bullets. Cancel the dodge, it looks like, if I'm quick. The form momentum from it and just use the iframes. Shit. I was trying to practice it there. I should not have been doing that. helicopter. I totally missed it. So what is he talking about? they went with hexagons here on purpose because Chipzil is the super hexagon composer. It's cool. This is cool. I love seeing video games reference other video games. It's a cool phenomenon. Only really recently been possible. The more subtle the better. I really like the couple that were in Celeste. The Mario 3 one I think was my favorite. Yeah, this has to be at this point. The song even sounds like it's out of uh, Super Hexagon. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yo, dog. Save the sad helicopter whale thing. Unlocked. That'd be really cool, okay, Mom. This is a pretty great soundtrack. It has a lot of dubstepy things, but I can tolerate it a lot more in a chiptune format. Yeah. 
You have to drop the base. That was cool. <laughs> boo. Double boo. See you, Retro. Yeah, right. I think I recognize one of the Danimal Cannon songs from earlier. <laughs> How happy he is. Aww. <laughs> that was adorable. Nice. This game is great. I hope they add DLC to it. It seems like a very easy game to add DLC to. Hey, sir. They tricked me on that one. Another level select screen stage. I think so. <laughs> nice. Oh, I have to make it all the way. Okay, I'll try it again with the T-pad, I guess. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. I respond pretty well to painkillers when I have really bad headaches, but I still suck. Whew. Okay, that was easier with the D-pad. Usually anything where your movement is bound is... Whoa, that's cool. Nice. Drive home this torture. Sucks, I'm sorry. It's pretty great. This is the level select screen that I'm on right now, so I'm not even really in a stage. I'm really digging it so far. Another one of these evil triangles. My friendo! No, not friendo! You, how dare you? Don't make me fight my friendo! That sequence was great. Show you what's happening, all the things. Boss fight time. Close to me by Saber Pulse. <laughs> Aww. I love that a lot of this must have been top down for the designer. The slow build here this is great. No! 
Oh, jeez. Okay. I understand now. That school attack. School. Bringing back some of the mechanics from earlier in the world. Shit, I'm super dead, aren't I? Already. That's a pretty hard boss. Alright, we'll try again. I feel like this level is going to be the source of most of my time loss just because the beginning part is really trivial and it gets hard. Oh, it's pretty great so far. I'm really loving it so far. Great, simple, minimalist design space exploration. Really sweet soundtrack. I hope it gets DLC forever. I love how polished it is. Like, There's a lot of features in this that do not need to be in the game. It would work just fine without them, but it adds a lot to the game. I need to find a safe place to hold when that phase transition happens and not take four damage during it. Once he does that, I gotta get it up top. Yeah, no, there's no attacking in this game. Straight bullet hell. Someone's making a level maker? That's cool. Ouch. Is there a restart button? Do I have to kill myself? I'm gonna kill myself to restart here. I shouldn't take any damage during the beginning segment. Yeah, and the stages are really clever. I think this is the third boss fight in the game. A lot of them are not boss fights. Ooze's style is a really good way to describe it, especially the opening sequence. I was sold on the first level, but I was like double sold <laughs> after the first world. The part that uh, Prophet Gable said was going to make him want to put it on sub-block also really, really sold it for me. Yeah, I'll try to figure it out. If you'd like to talk about strategies or things I'm not doing or things that are coming up in the game, if you type exclamation point hide before your message, people in chat can see it and I won't be able to see it. Thanks, though. Yeah, no worries. Appreciate you helping. Friendo! Get away, Friendo! You can do it! Poor guy! Yeah, right. Ah, 
like propaganda was being sarcastic. <laughs> Oh, okay, so I can't quite stand there. There is a safe couple of pixels that I can fit into. Really can't get hit by that first attack. No, you're good, no worries. He's just saying because it says close to me so many times in the song, right? I think this is the first level that I'm struggling with pretty badly. I had that one earlier when Cat first got over. I had to find a safe zone in it. The one with the big, uh, long spike walls. This one, I still need to figure out what I want to do to dodge the first saw blade attack. So I expect this one to be a bit of a time sink for me as I figure it out. Shit. I can just barely fit in that corner. Good to know. shouldn't take damage in that phase, it's not hard. <laughs> Buddy! You'll be alright, friendo. <laughs> awesome. That's cool. Yeah, I'll try to figure it out by my own. You can't say that I'm doing it wrong if you want. If you type exclamation point hide before your message, uh, chat can see it, but I won't be able to. It's frustrating that I'm doing it wrong, but I appreciate the help. attempt to oof oh man my heart rate hasn't been displaying correctly for a while I minimized it earlier by accident all right well we got it now I know what to do yeah it's it's mostly the same patterns in the end but they just get faster in that last phase need to not take damage in stupid parts. Sure. 
like that. That was stupid. And that was stupid as well. Oof. Not great. Well, I guess I'll practice this section. I keep missing that, uh, tell... the telegraph during that sequence, too. Like, when those lines come out. It's been about 50-50. I've never, like, intentionally dodged that until just now. I didn't actually notice it was being telegraphed. Watch for that starburst. It's all right, buddy. You'll be fine. Yeah. I see. That starburst attack is really cool, then. There are almost no attacks in this game that are not telegraphed. That one's one of them. You kind of just have to see it. I don't know if you could sight read it. Shit. Dash too far. I didn't realize I could actually do damage to you. I think I just avoided it last time. Right on. All right, well, I can make up for some of the mistakes I made before. So any time gains I made on earlier levels by not having to repeat them, I'm losing here, but that's okay. It's legitimately difficult. Maybe it gives me more room to dodge forms and tunes. Isn't Tomb Raider Rise of the Tomb Raider basically just shapes and beats? Like his face. Often let you know what attack he's about to use once you know what the attacks are. That's cool. Pretty good conveyance. Isn't this just shapes and beats? <laughs> Guy. Almost dodged directly into it there. This was the square one, that's this one here. Cool. The physics in this section are kind of crazy, because the way it's rotating, your character doesn't really move the way you might expect them to. I really like this part though. It's very different from the rest of the stage.
save you, friendo. It's okay, friendo. He's trying to say something. Uh, heart rate peaked pretty high on that one. We've got this, Marstead. Wait. Cool. First try. Save him. Happy juice. That was a really cool boss fight. Oh, friendship is magic. Yay. Oh. We're crying anymore. Oh dear. Shit's still real off in the distance though. This asshole's still rocking out from atop his Mortal Kombat tower. I love this. That's so cool. No, it's not because we still. This has been the guy from the very beginning of the game. Uh, whenever that happens, Egg, that's just an analog stick problem. Try turning the controller off and making sure that the stick is in a neutral position when you turn it back on. It's the way that the neutral position is registered on analog stick games. Basically, when you power a controller on, it assumes whichever direction the stick is moving in is the neutral position. The song is sweet so far. <laughs> That's cool. Nice. Shit. Dodge too far. I tried to do the thing where you dodge and then back out of it. I think you have to press back really early for it to work. pattern. <laughs> I love that that thought that there's like a finite number of patterns it degenerates, right? Thanks, sons. <laughs> nice. Sight read. Awesome. That was a cool level. Get it, boat. All right, all my allies that I've developed in the game. Boat friend. Helicopter friend and friend friend. Terrestrial friend. Princess friend, maybe? Indicate me. Putting the ship in friendship. Oh, cool. I see. Oh, shit. I was actually just about to say, like, Undertale works as a holistic product. Kind of have to accept the whole thing. If you just made a video game out of the mechanics, would it really be a game? And the answer is yes. That's what this is. <laughs> 
it's the cool Undertale approach to developing the bullet hell genre, which isn't just bullets, right? It's all kinds of cool shape that you have to avoid in different design space to explore. Oh, that that's the clap. It's really cool. Hey, Sunday, how's it going? I'm enjoying it so far. It's really good. Okay. I understand, I think. This is, seems like a great game to have a level editor. For sure. This strategy makes much more sense than what I was about to try to do. Shit. That's cool. Nice. I love the number of these songs that sample classic game sound effects. Maybe know what to do there. Shoot. Double shoot. I didn't deserve that win. I made that with iframes. Undertale's combat system is this initial exploration of this genre. Like, we can do cool things. We don't just have to be your ship moves a set number of ways, and the only way we're going to explore design space is with different bullet patterns. Thanks, helicopter bud. Bit trip. Bit trip the one that's like, oh, that's a cool opening James Bond thing. <laughs> I love that the Chipsil level was like a bunch of hexagons because he was the artist for Super Hexagon. It's delightful. There's a couple different Bit Trip games, like some of them are side scrollers, right? This is a really cool core mechanic for the stage. It's almost like a side scroller now. <laughs> this is so cool. The way the levels stopped there with the base drop was perfect. This game feels perfect. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I might ask the creator to let me dash with the left trigger so I can play it left-handed, but that's about it. Where do you go to edit the controls? I tried doing it earlier and it wouldn't let me. Runner was the most popular one. <laughs> Good job, friend. Cool. <laughs> I love it. Hey! <laughs> you know 
I love how minimalist it is. Music cuts out too. Few hallways are as long as this song, that's okay. Let's go beat it. Okay, I got 30 minutes to beat it. We'll see. That's a pretty cool trope. I don't remember the name of it, but uh, I basically liked all the tracks so far. I already knew about Danimal Cannon because I watched a... Uh, went to a PAX panel with him like five years ago. I'm excited that he's so featured. Saying goodbye to my friends, princess friend, boat friend, helicopter friend. Nice. That's great. I love the fake out at the beginning with story mode too. Clearly that's how video games work, please. Nitro Fun. <laughs> that's just the name of the song. It's not necessarily the final boss, right? There's gonna be another one that's like my second form. <laughs> Jaden has a song called Final Boss. So. Oh, that's cool. I'm climbing up to him. Awesome. Now I've got this acceleration thing pulling me down. That's cool. This theme is super dope. Still have that Necker Dancer desire to only press the dash button in time with the beat. Cowbell, though. Battletoads now, reverse Battletoads. <laughs> That's cool. I love the build up to this guy, it's great. Nice. I love the pulsing on that. He's gonna have at least one more form, if not a billion of them. Round two. Oh, now I have to deal with the downwards acceleration problem and avoid everything, yikes. Of the achievement is over for real. It totally isn't, right? Hey! First try. Nope. Called it. <laughs> yeah, 
Everybody saying it in chat definitely gave it away too, but I called it anyway. They've established that this triangle is a dick. I love the fake out achievement too. Bleeding <laughs> everywhere, delightful. His design kind of reminds me of Flowey, actually. I doubt that's on purpose. There have been some other references in the game, though, like the Hexagon one. Is he melting, bleeding, or crying? Yes. Theme is great. And seeing all the little eggs pop open while he's doing this. Shit, I thought I had that. Watch for that now. I might be able to get him next attempt. I feel more uh, confident about this one versus the Friendo fight. Okay, roger, roger. Shouldn't take any damage during this entire crying blood phase. snare. It's great. Oops. Guessed wrong. Strawberry jam. That explains why this game is my jam. more damage in the opening phase than I would have liked, but try to learn more in this attempt.
He seems really sight readable, which I like. Other than that, you have been destroyed attack. That's the only one that's not. But if that's the only damage you took, it wouldn't be a big deal. I didn't realize that would hurt me. I should have thought it would. It's not though. It's not over. Uh, that's a cool way to integrate that into it here. <laughs> yeah, I like that they built this mechanic up already in normal game over screen. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is great. It's fine. It can be calling back to Undertale. There's nothing wrong with that. I assumed it was a determination test. That's why I kept trying it. It's not saying that Undertale invented anything. Video games influence each other, and that's part of the magic of the genre as it exists today versus when it first came out. The earliest game designers were inspired by their travels in the woods, collecting bugs, movies that they liked. And we're only just now starting to get game designers that are inspired by other games. That's really exciting. Save me, Frendo, with your crown! Princess Frendo! <laughs> That's great. Thanks for the follow, Lost Gamer. Cool. Till it's over. It's a victory lap, I assume. This is awesome. Oh, I am actually shooting constantly. Okay, I thought I was supposed to physically hurt him. That makes more sense then. Gotcha. I'm 
This game is, it's perfect. It's the best word to use to describe it, I think. Yeah, I can hear the cage story. Friendship lasers. over for real really <laughs> oh man that game is absolutely delightful <laughs> I like victory lap final bosses I don't know it's a fun uh, tradition I think It's like uh, Super Brothers, Sword and Sorcery. Yeah, it sounded like the last bit of the song and multiple times it could stop. Because I had depleted his health and he didn't die for another couple measures. Assume it's set to end after like the fourth measure of that looping section. It's a sun! I love it! <laughs> so, Prop, I think I'll owe you 15 minutes again. I'll add it to your bank. Some of these songs are no sue. Nice. Friendship. That game is insanely good. Holy shit. Perfect length, too. For the credits. <laughs> nice. I'd love to see more indie game experiences like this that are short, really, really finely polished. No dialogue, no text, right? about as up my alley as you can get. Yeah. I'm gonna get this for my nephew. He's a chiptune artist. Maybe if they'll do a DLC, I don't know. If the level creator is coming out, he could probably make some levels for his existing music. That would be really fun, I think. Do we know when the level creator comes out? I'm really going to encourage him to do that. Um, if you guys haven't heard my nephew's music, if you go to soundcloud.com slash Jaden Nico, I'll post it. He's like, he just turned 15 a couple weeks ago, so he's got a ways to go to get this level of polish, but... I 
really excited to hear him make some levels for his music. It's gonna get released to everybody eventually, right? Yeah. I could probably cut the heart rate monitor now. I'm not gonna need it for Slay the Spire. <laughs> One sec. It got pretty high up there in those last couple fights. No kidding. Tiny humans, nice. I know, right? I like that bait and switch with it, all the Danimal cannon in the first world. Hey, welcome back, Retro. Oh, yeah, the Indie Mega Booth. Actually, I think I passed by this at the Indie Mega Booth one time. I really wish they'd give it more floor space. If you go to PAX, like, it is by far the smallest area of the entire Expo Hall floor, but it has the most traffic of any area in the Expo Hall. And it's, it's just a money thing. It's like, you know, Cooler Master can pay to have a giant section of floor that has a giant SUV in it, and none of these indie devs have any money. I'd like to see, maybe I'll send this to some of those uh, vendors like Cooler Master and be like, hey guys, no one wants to come see your giant show. Can you just like buy some space and devote it to the Indie Mega Booth? Nintendo Japan. So what all consoles is this on or is it PC only right now? Switch and PC. Oh, this would be a nice one to have on Switch. I should have checked that before I bought it. <laughs> it's okay, I'd always buy another copy. I'll give them more money. And you, obviously. Yeah, you. Nice. Sorry, prop. It's been nuts this morning. I just I bought it right before stream started today and downloaded it. Cool. So I'll give you a ten minute bank. Crank up the menus, dance party, complete these bonus challenges. Complete a track without dashing. Okay, that answers my question from earlier. Cool. All right, I'm going to take a short break. I got to go feed the cats and get something, a quick snack and something to drink. Uh, I'll be back with Slay the Spire for five hours. See you guys soon. <laughs> 